So I wanted to show uh, two pieces of kit that I've been using for a while on other setups, other belts, and that I've recently moved to this belt. And that is the Hoplite Armor um, thigh panels, or thigh plates. Um, I believe he also makes these that are rifle rated. Mine are just pistol fragmentation rated. They're 3A. And um, also this uh, grenade pouch, which I will get to in a minute. I've been using these for about two years, and they're limited in their role, right? They don't protect a lot of your thigh, but they do protect a good bit of it, and they weigh virtually nothing. Um, these are under a pound. I actually think they're about half a pound, somewhere in that neighborhood, and you really don't notice that they're there. Um, after you've had them on for a few hours, you kind of forget about them. But one thing that I had to do to get them to that level of comfort is remove the leg straps. So the little carrier that they come in comes with two uh, like one inch straps like you would find on the old Safari Land holsters that are really uncomfortable. You know, you wear those for any length of time and they will rub your skin off. You'll get blisters, raw spots, hot spots with them. I took mine, just took shock cord, mini S beaners, and uh, modded a little quick detach system. And they work great. You can adjust back here, how tight you want your shock cord, and they don't affect your movement at all. Once again, you won't even notice that they're there. So uh, I think for the weight and their comfort, they really don't hinder anything and they're a good piece of kit. Obviously you don't need them all the time. Um, but think about the war in Eastern Europe. In the trenches, any kind of added protection that's lightweight is good. And uh, especially against frag because you're getting shelled all the time everything else like that so that and for urban fighting these things are great so check them out